protection. So we live in the on-demand era and retailers are in trouble. You see, real estate cost is sky high and accounts for 25% of all expenses. Funny enough, even though they pay rent 365 days a year, due to labor laws, holidays, and other operation challenges, stores are actually closed more than they open. If you put it in numbers, out of 168 hours a week, at the best, stores will be open for, for 80 hours. This is less than 50% of the time. So with this in mind, I assembled a team of experts in the fields of user experience and user interface softwares, payment systems, so, uh, self-service technologies, and supply chain management, and we founded here in the UK the auto store company. We created the future of the self-service store. Our machines help retailers operate anytime and anywhere. It's an automated platform, automated retail platform that gives the, that gives the benefit of 365 days, 24-7 shopping. From cosmetics to electronics, any retailer can customize and manage the interface remotely and decide exactly which products to place inside the machine. With a maximum size of just one parking spot, the machines can be deployed literally anywhere, serve customers in any language, and accept any method of payment. To the retailers, we are bringing the power of Internet of Things and big data, allowing suggestive cross-selling and upselling and online data upload back to the corporate ERP. Some of you may say that e-commerce already addressed most of this, but the, the problem is that in order to buy online, you need to have a credit card. In reality, 3.5 billion people around the world are defined as unbankable and do not have a credit card. We were able to resolve this as well. And through our system, the customers can access the retailer's e-commerce platform with the ease of checking out using cash. And if you happen to be one of the 4 billion people around the world without a proper address for delivery, your products can be delivered to the locker on the side of the machine. We are putting the entire retail experience in the simplicity of using an ATM. Nowadays, we operate for our first customer almost 100 machines in eight different markets, and we successfully processed over one million transactions. On September 2nd, 1969, the Chemical Bank launched the very first ATM in the US, and the bank's advertisement said, our bank will open on Monday at 9 a.m. and will never close again. We are bringing the ATM revolution into retail. Thank you very much. Fantastic and very, very good presentation. Thank you. Very passionate. And I, I skipped I, it. No, I'm going to say. I had the visual. Can, no, no, you should. No, no, no. Pass, pass the visual. Can we, can we look at that? I have visuals for one for each. Some of them, some, some are mock ups. Thank you. And some are re real visuals. So I'm, I'm going to just ask a question. Um, I mean, automated vending of this, this scale is, is not a new concept. Thank you very much for using the word vending. Yeah. This is vending, right? You still remember we had those? And this is automated retail. Okay. Right? What you can do in a vending machine is exactly what we were able to do with cell phones. Right. With our system, we can do whatever we can do with, with cell phones. Okay. This is exactly the difference. So you don't like the word vending, I get that. But um, <laughs> my real point was these big machines that you can put more than just um, Diet Coke and some sweets in, where you can now buy lots of fresh goods, electric goods, they're in the world today, yeah? So, so what, what's what, new the, here? What's new here is, is, first of all, in a vending machine you cannot build a basket. Ah. Like, you, like you do on online. I'm with you. All right? In a, in, a, in a vending machine, you don't know who is the customer. You, can, you, don't have, you, have, you, don't have in, you don't have online information from a vending machine. You don't get alerts that you're running low on inventory. I'm with you. So you can build a basket with one of these. Yes. That's clever. Yeah. On, on top of that, most vending machines handle change very poorly. They will not offer a, a, a customer journey that can serve, accommodate any language and any payment method. Well, okay. So I guess, okay, so we're, just so I'm clear, so, so we're talking about the ability to kind of build a basket. <laughs> How big does the machine need to be in order to store enough products that you are likely to put together a basket as opposed to just buying two things from the machine in two separate transactions? Well, this, these machines, as I said, they're, you know, the maximum size is just one parking spot. Okay. And uh, they can accommodate inventory, again, depending on, 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 on the retailer and the vertical, because we're we are targeting only big retailers that, that actually have a need for 24-7 access to the products or they want to set, set up a small satellite shop. And, and they can go into 15 to 20,000 
pounds of Infendor inside the machine. So the replenishment cycle is, is not more than two, three days. So for my product, it probably wouldn't be great just because the search rules are quite big. Yeah, you would. Yeah. Well, the biggest product we can handle is, is 15, 16 inch uh, laptop, size wise. Right. Okay. I, I get it and I think it's wicked and you can gather so much data. There's things you can do in terms of even where people are looking on the machine. But what about the massive <laughs> security issue of having so much product on the street 24 hours? Well, we, as I said, we, we operate already almost 100 machines in eight different markets. And, and on the statistics on the one million transactions that we already processed, we actually had one vandalism event. One vandalism? Yes. So and fraud? Security fraud? Card fraud? This is the highest level. The, the machines are PCI compliant, which is the, 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 the security protocol for unattended payments, basically any, any credit card payments. Um, and, and this is the same level as, as security of as, uh, buying online. And who is your customer of these 100 machines in eight markets? Uh, it's a fantastic nutrition company called Herbalife. Oh, that, that is yeah, the real uh, one. Is, uh, I was okay. trying to figure which one was weird <laughs> and which one was a mock-up. Yeah. Herbalife. Okay. okay, Herbalife, that's a good product for it. Tell me about how does that commercial model work with them? How much money is that 100 machines worth to your company? Well, we are, uh, our business is actually where we, it's, it's a, uh, we're licensing our software and providing support services. So there's a license and support fee per machine. Do you have to and, pay? And we, we generate right now uh, something in the range of 350,000 pounds a year just out of this, and there was, we have a pipeline of more deployments coming in. So you, you license the software there for somebody else who's manufacturing the machine? Yeah, yeah, we're not manufacturing the hardware, obviously. So yeah, who, we have a subcontractor. So, yeah, we, so who, who, there's a hardware person that sells the hardware to No, we, we will sell the hardware at cost. Oh, you pass yeah, through yeah, the hardware? Yeah, yeah, yeah pass through. Okay. How many in your team out there talking to, to help business develop? And well, this is just myself, and we have a commercial director. And then actually the, the biggest, the vast majority of our team is R&D and, and support. How did you get involved with Herbalife as a well, company? Uh, Herbalife is, is a, um, my, the biggest client of my logistics company, a business I started out 25 years ago. And actually they came up with the idea, they said we, we need a product access solution that will require minimum staff, minimum, minimum real estate and can work long hours. So with our background in, in, in supply chain management, we actually thought of how we put vending, a word I don't like, in, on steroids. Okay. Can you talk to me a little bit, how long have you been kind of working on this concept? How long has it been available on the market? It took, it took what's us, the appetite? It took us about two years to develop uh, the software side and customize the hardware, because the, the central unit, the tower, the brains, is, is, was completely developed by, by ourselves, both from the external design and the, 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 the inside. The software was uh, the biggest challenge to, to blend everything together. I mean, the, the user interface, all the payment systems. Uh, it was a bit less than two years. Okay. Then we went into a POC for uh, six months. And since then, we're in the deployment in, in all these markets. Okay, and what's the response and kind of the appetite been like from potential clients? We, obviously, uh, as, as you may know, whenever you approach a big retailer, the first thing that we're interested, they, they get you to sign on NDA. So I cannot mention the names, but we're talking to some of the biggest retailers here in the UK and in Europe. How many units over the next few years? How many? Well, I, I believe that uh, with Herbalife, we will be getting to the range of 200 in the next two years. That's one customer. For Just you, with one for customer. Your, for, your, for your business, how many units? Total. I mean, if you look in, in our total, we, we, believe, we believe that every customer, and this is something we discussed from the very beginning, if they don't see a potential for hundreds of units at the very least, they shouldn't start. It's the same, it's the same logic like, like with ATMs. Mm -hmm. One ATM will not make a difference. So you have hundreds of ATMs to make so a difference. For three years from now, how many units do you think you'll have licenses coming in from in three years' time? In three years' time, I believe that we will have at least five customers, and with each will be operational with three-digit number of, of licenses. What do you imagine your revenue to be in three years' time? Way over one million pounds a year. Because we are working on some large-scale project right now, actually on a totally different hardware platform. It will be basically based on, 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 on robotics. And these are big projects. Automated retail... The big, actually, branded manufacturers of consumer electronics, they get it. 
course of the time. And do you know what your profit would be in three years' time if you were on a million turnover? About 65% of it. About 65%. We have okay, run out with time, Alex. We did, but that's that's yeah. only because we were very excited yeah. about Thank it. Thank you very much. We're so interested.